The AI Profits YouTube channel needs a new logo for 2021, which is quickly upon us one day away. And we're gonna create a new logo today using the Render Forest Logo Maker. So we're gonna come to renderforest.com backslash logo maker and let their AI based logo maker create a logo just for the AI Profits YouTube channel. So the way that's going to work is so you're going to enter in the name of your company or your YouTube channel, whatever it may be, and then click get my logo. Then it's going to give you the option to add a tagline. We're going to say make money with tech. And then our description, I want a logo for my YouTube channel focused on making money online through tech. All right, so we're just adding in the space aliens and trendy things just so that it pulls in more. The AI will pull in more symbols or icons, things like that, that cover that brief. So we've entered in a little two sentence uh, description, in which case the AI is going to analyze this text and deliver the best results. So you can try different descriptions if you don't get what you want the first time through. But once you click next, you're going to see that there are eight logo styles to choose from, or you can let the AI pick for you, and then they're going to draw from each of these. So that's what I'm going to do today. However, personally, my style, I like flat, I like gradient, and I like line style. And if you hover over them, then you'll get a little bit of what each logo looks like. So I do like the way the flat logos look. I like the way the line style logos. And of course, I love the gradient. The gradient to me is just, you know, it's a lot higher end than most logo makers. Uh, but anyways, let's click next and let's actually see what logos it comes up with. So first glance, the very first one looks good. What I like about the Render Forest logo maker is that it puts it on some mock-up items so we can see what it would look like in the real world. Now for a YouTube channel like AI Profits, this isn't that serious. You know, if we ever do blow up, then we will probably get a custom logo made. But in the meantime, might, might, it might as well change up our logos, try different tools out, and just have fun with it because we're not taking this thing too seriously. I also like this one here. This is just a symbol style logo, but we can control the colors within that symbol. Uh, maybe we'll come back to it. We're just going to scroll through and we're going to see what it kind of comes up with. And thus far, I can just say this is a like an infinite scroll. So really, we can just scroll until we find something that we like. We have the alien here, which is kind of uh, unique. You know, it's kind of similar to how when we started the channel, we went with an alien style. We've got this little A right here. I kind of like that, actually. That's kind of unique. It's a nice symbol. And maybe we'll actually go with that and get started today. Uh, ultimately, I don't think, you know, this YouTube channel is small. We just need something. That's the way most people are when you're creating a logo. You just want to test the waters, see how things are. And I kind of like this gradient style, these colors in this A. It's like a triangle A. Uh, or I like this television. You know, I kind of like that style. Maybe I'll just start with this font-based logo. So once you've selected the logo that you're going to go with, then we'll go ahead and click edit and download. And then it's going to bring up our canvas mode. And within the canvas mode, we can actually jump to the icons. And if we want a graphic based icon, we can do that. So here, let's actually search for something creative. So if we search for tech, we can see that the AI pulled a lot of these icons in. I do like this one here. Obviously, I want to change up the colors a little bit, maybe make it a little bit bigger. Uh, but something like that, you could even go just with the solid, you know, the black theme. Uh, but, you know, I, I always go with black themes. And a lot of times I feel like, you know, sometimes you need a little color in your life. So I was going to go with those, you know, more of those neon based colors. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's just keep scrolling through. So for money, we get, you know, money bags. We get the Bitcoin emblem. We get some arrows. Let's type in glasses. 
I kind of like that, to be honest. I don't, that's like a, I don't know if that's an airplane, maybe with glasses on it. That's kind of unique. Okay, so I kind of like playing around with the O in AI profits. You can add something like this. Maybe you even add the eyeball. You know, that would be kind of unique, something like that. All in all, I think that's a decent enough logo. I wish there was a way that you could have more control within this editor. Uh, they do limit what you can actually do. Like maybe we actually need to, you know, size it up something like this. And then we can come up here to text and we can space out the letters a little bit more if we want to do that. Maybe we space it out so that we include the I and then we can come here to the icon if we wanted to. So we can either use their su suggested colors or we can create our own up here under your colors. And I would recommend if you don't really know what colors look good, you can just pick the palette. Uh, but if you, you know, feel up to it, you can actually custom make your colors. And what I'm going to do is kind of get a sense of what I'm looking for. And then we will actually tweak our custom colors because I just want to have that type of control. Where we have the key with the eye, I kind of like the way that looks, honestly. I wonder if we could come in here to the colors and change the icon. We absolutely can. So if we wanted to change this up, let's make sure that the text, whatever text we use, I think we want to make sure that it looks good on light mode and dark mode. And I kind of want to go with more of that tealish theme somewhere in there. But I want to make sure that it also shows up on white backgrounds and dark backgrounds. And I wish they had a way that you could toggle on light and dark mode. Uh, you'll see it in the brand brief once we complete our design. Uh, they're going to actually give us the logo on both a light or dark background. But it would be nice if they did that within the actual logo maker. I also wish that we could create multiple mock-ups within the same canvas mode. You can use Nimbus Capture and you can capture a selected area. And what I want to actually do is capture this eye right here. And I'm just going to click Save. And then when it pops up on my computer, I'm going to save it and it's going to download the image. So I'm just saving this right here. And what I should see is this screenshot image that I can now go to uh, Google Images. And under Images, I can click this Search by Image and I can upload the image that we just downloaded. And once this file uploads, it will do a reverse image search and then we can see where this has been used. And for some reason, this right here is bringing up uh, clip art from Jewish World War II, which I'm not sure why, because I don't think it really looks like that. Uh, so it doesn't look like this logo's actually been used. Uh, but we do have three pages of results, and there it is. So it's being used right now. So this is a disclaimer. If you use a logo like that, just the clip art, then it is going to most likely be used by someone else or at any time it can be used by someone else. So I'm actually going to try out this one here. And again, we're just going to screen capture it and let's see if our key is being used. And this one is not currently being used. So like if you go with these that are a little bit more catchy, my guess is that they are going to be used more. Okay, so I have one version of the logo that I kind of like. This one's using more of just a clip art style, but I do think if we went with this one, which I don't think we're going to do because I'm going to play on the I with the actual O in my finished version, but I do want to show you kind of my thought process behind this. If we go with the clip art, then I don't think the font is the best choice here. So we can come in here to fonts and then we can try out different fonts until we find one that is a mo more appropriate fix. But under the font, we can control our spacing as well as our logo. And then if we wanted to change it, we could again type in AI profits with the lower and the big. And I actually think I like that better because I like that unique A. So let's actually avoid this uh, logo. We're going to change up this icon. I'm going to go with more of realistically, we're going to try. 
I'm just a little bit lazy. Instead of creating multiple versions for different backgrounds, which is what, you know, most people would do, especially if your colors don't look good on a particular background, then you need an alternative. Okay, so I have finished the logo. I played around with it and everything. I'm pretty pleased with it. Now, if we come back in, we will be able to update this and edit this if it isn't to our liking once we actually you know, test this out on dark or light backgrounds. But I want to talk a little bit about what I was thinking with this logo, specifically the color selection, which we went with more of a violet or a purple-ish tone, as well as the teal. These are very close and compatible colors that look good on a dark and a light background. So it should fit our needs. This one logo we should be able to use within our different tools and softwares as we white label different softwares and do all of this stuff. This logo should work better for that. Uh, it's going to obviously change up our channel quite a bit on YouTube where we're at currently. We have a gold and an olive color scheme, and this is significantly different. However, I went with this because, again, I wanted that logo that looks good on both backgrounds and I don't have to worry as much about it. And I think realistically we're moving towards a little bit more of these neon colors. I'm seeing it a lot more. Now, this is a logo here with a star and a eyeball as far as the actual icon that we're going with, but we're dumping it over the O. Now we're going with the star, which if you kind of do a quick Google search, you'll see it's mostly positive uh, beliefs, good luck, you know, a lot of different uh, symbolisms around the star. And then we have the eye, which is a little bit of a play on AI, as well as us focusing on or looking at the ways that we can make money with tech. And once you combine all of these with the color scheme, I think our logo's pretty much done. So at this point, I'm going to hit download. And what you're going to see when you come to download your logo with Render Forest, you're going to be able to do so for free for nonprofit use, as well as for a low quality PNG. Uh, most people are going to need the basic, which is a high quality PNG and then commercial usage. However, I would recommend Vector Logo or what we're going to do today, which is the premium logo designation, which is going to give us the vector files, commercial usage, that high quality PNG, eight logo variations, 20 plus mockups, a social media pack and brand, brand guidelines. So the brand guidelines are pretty cool. I'm going to show you what you get within the premium designation. Whichever package you have with Render Forest will determine what you can do as far as those options. I'm not going to go over that because you can research it yourself. You can also buy these separately if you're not a part of their subscription plan, I believe. But let's actually look at our finished product. And I'm thinking that's looking pretty good, if I'm being honest. I like that a lot. Maybe the spacing's a slight bit off. But all in all, I actually think it looks good just as is. So let's actually download this design pack. And I'm going to go ahead and animate one of these while the actual design pack downloads. Let's go ahead and pick an animation. And I like this neon logo reveal. And I just click the button and it's going to go ahead and bring my logo in. I don't have to do anything. I literally have to do nothing other than type in the website. So we'll go ahead and add the text there. And if we wanted to, we could change the fonts, but uh, we don't really need to do that. We could also change the music, but let's go ahead and do a high quality HD export in the highest quality because our plan supports it. And then we'll go ahead and see what that neon power logo reveal looks like. While this exports, let's go ahead and take a look at our new logo. This is everything that comes within the zipped file. We've got color variations, logo variation, the logo without the tagline and without the text. So there's our eyeball with the icon. And then if we come back out, we're going to be able to look at brand guidelines. Uh, now, hopefully the colors that I went with pop and they do. So that's why we went with the teal and the violet. Uh, color scheme because it looks great on a dark background and it looks great on a white background. So these are the brand guidelines for AI profit. So if we scroll through, what we'll see in the brand guidelines is a little bit 
of kind of training on what branding is. We can scroll down, see the pagination or whatever that word is, where uh, it'll tell you a little bit about where and how you should do your logo. So here we've got, uh, you know, just some basic guidelines. This is the color on a white background, the color on a black background. So again, we kept that in mind with our color scheme while we created the logo. We can also see it on a transparent background. Now that teal will, that make money with tech teal will not always work uh, depending on the picture on the transparent, but it should always look decent on the dark or light background. Then if we scroll down here, we can see the incorrect ways to use the logo. It's pretty much going to say don't put it on bad backgrounds, stuff like that. Don't crop it, you know, don't stretch it, basic stuff. And then we're going to have our typography colors. So again, we went with this hex color code and then this hex color code for the taglines and the logos as well as the symbols. I kept it very generic because I knew that I wanted these two main colors with black and white as well as gray. All of those look great together. And then down here, we've got our typography. We went with the righteous font and then we have Noah regular for our actual tagline. Down here, we have mockups. So we'll be able to see what our logos are going to look like on mockups. I think all in all, it looks pretty good. Uh, I like the way this looks. Now, I'm not going to say I do think the spacing could be a little bit better. Maybe we'll tweak it. Uh, we're going to see exactly what it looks like. And then we've got a thank you page. So hopefully this video has provided some value. We've looked at how to make a logo with Render Forest. I'm going to be sporting this new logo as we head into 2021. I hope you're doing fantastic. If you're seeing this in the future, maybe I'm still using this logo. Maybe I'm using a different one because we look at different tools and ways that we can make money with tech. Render Forest looks to be a fantastic tool. I'm very excited to use it throughout 2021. I'll be making a lot of videos, so if you wanna see that, subscribe to the channel. Like this video if it brought you any value. My name is Scott with AIProfits.com, and we will see you in the next one. Take care.